Welcome back to Zelda 2 Special Enhanced Link is Adventuresome Edition. Thank you, everybody, for the happy birthday wishes. Nort passed along the message. I, I really appreciate it. I have to say, I'm very lucky. And as much as I do complain about life from time to time, not too much on my streams, I try not to. I try not to. I don't want to bring you down too much. But I am very lucky. And um, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. But yeah, um, this is actually a really great birthday gift, is the gift of Zelda. Oh, fuck, the save files are gone. No, it's okay. I know how to fix that. I know, I know where they are. It's fine. It's in that wacky app data folder. You know that folder? It's that wacky one. Sometimes you just need to copy the thing over. Okay, once again, welcome back to Zelda 2 Enhanced PC Link is Adventuresome Edition. The app data folder is wacky, but it has been transferred over and we are good. The Adventures of Lick. This is a new version. There have been bug fixes. Um, there have been some general improvements, and uh, Hoverbat has watched the stream. And so this is version... 0.6. Where can we download this as a chat member? It is not available yet, but it will be. Probably when I'm done playing it. I'm helping to bug test it. I guess. General Improvements was my favorite Clone Wars character. That's cool. I liked Admiral Bone to pick. Have you had any cake today? I- yeah, I- I did. I had, um... I had food. Right? And... Family got me cake. And... Then... Mike, myself, and some friends went and got pizza. So, that was nice. I had a Blue Moon drink, which was fine, but I don't really like drink very much, so I only had a little bit. But it was, it was good. It was just nice. And I spent, um, I spent a good chunk of my birthday editing a video. I'll give you... I'll just give you uh, a hint. It rhymes with... Hey. Hell no. No. Well, it's a couple different things, but I'm gonna tell you, I played Duke Nukem Forever, 2001 edition, for about an hour and a half. And, um... It was very, very interesting. As someone who likes, like, game history, like, game preservation stuff, it was... fascinating. Someone said, but why? Well, it was leaked. This isn't the one that came out in 2011, which was utter garbage. It's still not great because it's not done, but it's interesting to see what the game would have been in its 2001 form. And I'm going to tell you that there was some very bizarre happenings. While I was playing it, there's some things that were just straight up fucked up. Yes, the child has been retrieved. There's some extremely not safe for work stuff in there, which is why I have to edit it. Vinny, is the dev taking feedback anywhere? I'm not sure. I mean, the dev has a busy life. Um... I'm just gonna... You know what? I'll go through the maze and... 
Actually, the... I was thinking about, do I go through the maze or should I go and voice crack real quick? You know what I will do? I'll bring the child and then I'm gonna go to... This is where you get the boots, right? This one? In this palace? I think it is, yeah. Um, anyway. Do I have to bring the child to get the... I forget, I should know this, but I played it randomized so much. Oh, right, I need to rescue the child to get Reflect. Anyway, so, will there be feedback for this? Let me answer one question at a time. The first question is, will the dev be taking feedback? And the answer is, I have no idea. So I hope I was helpful. Thank you for asking the question. I'm assuming when this is released, there will be some way to give a little bit of feedback, but I, I also know that the dev didn't want to take this too much further because of how much, like, work it would be, and how, um, extensive this development has already been. Vinny, please watch the Netflix adaptation of Resident Evil. You- you fucking walk. I watched one Resident Evil Netflix, and it was 3D, and Leon was in it. And it was very crusty, and I had to stop watching. And not once was Ashley in it. And not once did anyone named Ashley, or anyone at all for that matter, say, Leon, help! Not once. Vinny, what do you think about current thing? Well, current thing bad, or perhaps current thing good, depending on your viewpoint. One thing I know for sure is that current thing is very divisive. And my opinion on current thing is either controversial or bassid. But please understand, if I give a full opinion on current thing, people may sometimes have this illusion that streamer must share viewpoint 100%. But if I do not, then you must, you must go. And you must find new streamer. And if that streamer has viewpoint of current thing, then you're fine. Of course I'm talking about Star Wars. I fucking hate... the new Star Wars stuff. It's always Star Wars. This magic will strengthen a shield. Okay, I got Reflect. Vinny hates the new Kenobi show. I don't want to. Genuinely want that to be great. I I'm very excited. Well, I say very excited. I am, um, very tempered expectations for it, but I don't know, man. I, I hope Kenobi is good. No, I, I, uh, I really don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. What do you think, what do you think about current thing, chat? Oh no. Chat is going to get pulped. Did you hear that the billionaires are leaving the planet? That is also current thing. That they're like building space things so that they can leave the planet. I don't think people realize that... Like... 
we don't know how to live in space or on another planet yet. Like, just, just to be clear about that. Like, I don't think it's an escape hatch. I don't think it's an escape hatch, everybody. Now, how's that for spicy uh, um, current thing? Oh, fuck. All right. I did hear that. I heard that, like, um, one of the, the reasons that they're going to space is that they want to live there. And it's like, well, I don't I don't think we can yet. I don't, I don't think we have the technology to live in space under any means whatsoever. And even so, you're going to run out of your astronaut ice cream very, very quickly. I say we as if I have any means or desire to go to space. I do have a desire to go to space. I just don't want to experience the G-forces. Like, we haven't found the right spot in which to remove the G-force yet. You know, that technology hasn't been found. I would say we haven't found the G-spot. It just seems uncomfortable. I thought William Shatner was going to melt. Like, he went up in a shuttle recently. Not completely, but like, you know. He got to see what Earth looked like from a pretty decent distance away. And I really thought his bones were going to melt off of his skin. And they didn't. So maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I've always seen the videos of, like, those astronauts in the G-Force chambers. And they, like... They age from, like, 30 to 75 in about 35 seconds. Which is how I felt when I woke up this morning. I was like, oh, it's my birthday. And then, like, if you see what I look like right now in real life, you're gonna be like, oh, wow, it happened. I can't believe it, it only took one day, and now he looks... He looks like he's in his 70s. Vinny, hang on, Vinny, did you hear that the Halo TV show had Master Chief kiss someone that wasn't even Cortana? Okay, I want you to think of it like this. I know the Halo games a little bit. A little bit. I don't know why that's a big deal. I know the show is shit. Of course it is. It's on Power Paramount Plus. Of course it's garbage. But... Think about that sentence in the context of someone who maybe doesn't know Halo the same way you do, and, and many people do. And that comes across like a very, very bizarre statement. Wait, is, is Halo Chief only allowed to kiss Cortana? Isn't she, like, a robot? Or, like, a hologram? God, it shows how much I know. Jump up here. Come on. Do it. Coward. She's also dead and based on Chief's mom's brain. Maybe I don't want to know about Halo lore. Maybe the Paramount people are doing the right thing by cutting all this fucking weird nerd shit out. And like, now now they got Chief like hanging dong. Hell yeah. I don't even know what's happening. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's telling the truth in chat. I don't know. I see so many different conflicting things. Got it. Ah. Also, there's a lot of new stuff here in this dungeon. I'm already seeing some changes that I like. Cortana is an NFT. Vinny, you forgot to update the game title. Ah, shit.
fixed now. It's in San we're, we're in San Diego. San Diego. E oh, I don't have a key yet. Well, the boots is here, but no key. There we go. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, apparently Norm MacDonald filmed a special to be shared after he passed. It's called Nothing Special. That is the most Norm fucking shit I've ever heard. So... Did you say after he passed? Well, it's gonna air after he passed, but he had a lot of uh, material that he didn't finish. And, um... What he did was he filmed it before a procedure that he wasn't sure about. And, um, he was gonna do it as a show, like, in front of an audience. Oh, great. But he didn't have a chance, so the footage of him recording it in his, like, room? Like, are they really gonna have that on Netflix? Is there gonna be no audience? Well, whatever the case is, I'm really curious to see what kind of... what kind of stuff it would be. I never thought we would see anything new in regards to Norm Macdonald, and yet here we are. There's a key. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be sad. It's definitely gonna be sad. It's like listening to Black Star now, or listening to Blackstar a couple days after. Because I was listening to it before, and I was like, yeah, this album's pretty cool, I like it. And then it was like, oh my fucking god. Is that what this is about? What is your opinion on life? I think... Um... I'm still learning. I'm... Uh, I'm an imperfect human being living on an imperfect planet. Only Nortz knows what perfection is like. But what I can tell you I've learned about life is... Beans. Beans. The musical fruit. The more you eat, And then you have to just figure out the rest yourself as you go. I can only tell you, but until you toot, you won't know what, how to. You won't know how to complete that. Some things you just have to experience before you can fully judge or understand someone. That's what it's all about. It's about me telling you the first part, but you won't know for sure until you toot. I guess we'll go get the boots now. There we go. What else? Oh, 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 here's what I feel about life, is once in a while... It's nice to look at a bird. I've learned that in recent years. Birds suck, says the chat member. Oh, alright, Satan. We got- we got us a Dracula in chat. Is this some kind of Dracula? Hmm. 
Vinny, what's your favorite bird? Morbius is in chat, that's right. That was Shawn Michael Morbius himself. I, well, I mean, waterfowl I like, but if you're gonna go straight, like, to birds, like, what bird do I like? I, I don't know. Um, I, I did mention, without elaborating, that I have two morning dove friends. So I, I like them. They make cool noises. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. But crows are, are probably the best. I think they're just cool. And they do cool shit. Ravens are cool too, yeah. So those are my favorite uh, birds. I, I also enjoy... You know what? Cardinals are pretty chill. I just don't like bird shit. Two things I don't like, bird shit and squirrel piss. <laughs> Otherwise, animals are great. Well, almost dead. Opinions on Blue Jays. Um, they're nice to look at. They're they're cool, but they're loud. They're very loud. Vinny, what is your B-Day wish? I have one birthday wish, and it is for world pizza. Which is just that everyone in the world gets good pizza. And that way they can stop telling me that Papa John's is good. Simple as that. Well, I don't have magic. No, you know what? When you go to a place in some weird state or some weird country and they have like Brooklyn, New York style pizza place. That's the stuff that's usually like it's okay probably, but it's it's not going to be anything amazing. But if you haven't had like New Haven pizza or New York pizza or even New Jersey pizza, yet yeah, there I said it. You might not know. So that's why I want world pizza. I want people to experience, like, some of the best pizza places. And that way they can enjoy and understand why these, like, Ray's famous pizza, or like New York, a New York slice from some place in, like, Dayton, Ohio, is probably not, in fact, all that great. What's wrong with Dayton, Ohio? I don't know. That was just the first thing that came to mind. Is Philly pizza good? I don't know, I've never had Philly pizza, but I'll tell you what, Massachusetts has some pretty amazing pizza. gotta go to the right places. I think there's probably good pizza everywhere. Like, apparently Toronto has good pizza. Like, it, there's good pizza everywhere. Now we're on a pizza discussion. Unbelievable. But it's true. You can pretty much get good pizza. You just have to find the right places, and... You know, there's gonna be, like, maybe, like, you know, a, a margin of 20% where the best pizza in 
bumblefuck enter state here, you might get within 20% of, like, amazing pizza. But here's the thing. This is pizza snobbery, and if you agree with me, then you too are a pizza snob. Some people think Chuck E. Cheese fuck! Chucky does not fuck. I'd like to apologize on behalf of Charles Entertainment Cheese. I don't think Chuck E. Cheese fucks. But some people think 7-Eleven pizza is amazing, and I think you have to be drunk as fuck to enjoy it. Do you think they have pizza in Star Wars? And what kind of music do they listen to while they eat pizza in Star Wars? Chat member, what? I'd like to imagine that if there are space tomatoes, then there's probably... ...space pizza. Like, they can go hyperspace to multitudes of planets. And they haven't developed pizza technology? Come on. And they listen to jizz while they eat the pizza, of course. That's the answer you wanted, right? So close to a level up. If this next room is the boss room, I'm going to be very, very upset. Because I, I am just... You know what? Even if it is, I can level up here. These enemies respawn. Very, very smart, Dev Hubberbats. Magic will go up. Hell yeah. You will level up on the boss before the crystal. Oh, this is new. That's not true. I think they... I think the developer removed the experience points from the bosses for some reason. Unless I just didn't notice it. I like how these enemies fit perfectly within the style of the game. Oh, no shit. Oh, look what you've done. You daffy son of a bitch. Wow! Wow! You made the arena more difficult. That's... You know what, though? It kind of needed it. I never found this boss difficult, because all you have to do is just crouch in a corner, like Michael Stipe. You have to, you have to say, that's me in the corner. Oh, now? Oh, God, it does that now. And then you just, you just wait for the- Ah, uh, it's a, I don't know, it's a little weird. I mean, part of me feels like shooting them up might be enough in regards to difficulty. That's a little, that's a little insane. This is, ah! Whoa. I don't know yet how I feel about this, but I will say that it's interesting. I only died once. And I did get experience. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Again, throughout this whole thing, there's higher difficulty, and Hoverbats, in an email, was like, I don't know if I want to lower it too much. Like, there's definitely some ROM hack difficulty here, but maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe that's okay. 
Now, granted, I think a little bit more of a balance in a couple spots would be good, and it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. This is what the boots do. You can walk on water now. My name is Shawn Michael Mobius, and I am a more billionaire. And I just wasted a bunch of my brain cells in Vinny's chat. I am a werewolf, and I have to get blood transfusions on the regular to keep myself alive. I've sold up to four tickets to my new movie, Morbius, in theaters now. And I've made the Morbius loop in under five parsecs. So here's a really good design choice. This is a great design choice. It's a shortcut. And now we don't have to go through that shitty mountain anymore. Also, the... the white representing the snow is great. I think that's a really cool thing. Bravo, Vince. Wait, are you saying Bravo, Vince, like as in Vince Gilligan? For creating Morbius, which he had nothing to do with? What did Vince mean by this? And it's just like a picture of two actors hanging out and having a drink. And yet people are like, what did Vince mean by this? How is it possi possible that Lalo Salamanca and Saul are having a drink together? What if someone gives you Undertale for your birthday? Did you not see the video I made? There are now people in chat who are like, Vinny made an Undertale video? Yes. Why? I, I have made an Undertale video. Did I did I delete it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> where the fuck is this thing? That's cool. I like making videos and then deleting them. That's probably a smart thing to do. Uh. Well, it's on YouTube. Thank you. I had to just download my own YouTube video that I made. Cool. Hmm. What should I play on Steam today? Among. Among us. Among us. I still don't- you know what? Why did I make that? Why did I make that? Vinny, why do you own Undertale in the first place? That's either being spoken by someone who hates Undertale, and everything it entails, or someone who loves it. I'm assuming someone just bought me a copy of Undertale 
several years ago, and, uh, and it's just been sitting there. But I also do have, like, you know, 80 Steam games, or probably closer to, like, 800 Steam games that I have not played. There are many, many... Okay, it's not 800, but there are many, many Steam games just sitting there in my inventory that have never been touched. Piney House. Anju of Raru has the Book of Mudora. Huh. Thoughts on Era Vulgaris. Not my favorite Queens of the Stone Age album, but probably... I think that was my first that I bought from them. And I think it is a good album. I don't love all the songs on it, but there's some really fucking good ones. And yes, enemies can spawn on the roads when you, um... Not spawn, but like, if you touch an enemy while you're on a road, you might get like one slime. So anyway, Rauru. Anju of Raru. Vinny, did you shit my pants? Yes. My name is... Shawn Michaels. And I have shit your pants. Pronounced Raru. Hmm. Get candle in Parappa. Okay, so where where is Anju then? This is the only house left. Book? Ask my friend on Whale Island. Whale... Island? Vinny, you never entered that house. Oh. Well, once again, for anyone who has not watched me play the first couple parts of this, this is a complete overhaul by someone who has watched my streams, and um, they just straight up confirmed that my interest in Zelda 2 helped them, helped inspire them to port this over. They took the code from Assembly, and they ported it into Game Maker, and added... tons of stuff. So, like this, this is completely new, for example. Um... They, tons of quality of life adjustments, a whole lot of new enemies and content, some reworking of a couple spells, like, just really top quality work. This Zelda 2 cartridge was found in a gutter near Mike Love's house. It was found in Mike Love's self-proclaimed Tunnel of Love. Are you enjoy? I I am enjoy this. Yes. So Whale Island. I, I guess the developer's not here to tell me where where Whale Island is, but we'll figure it out, chat. Right? Won't we? It's in the ocean. Do you think there's a land island? 
anywhere in the world. I do love this tile set. Vinny, that's called a lake. Mm. No, that would be a reverse lake. If... You know, if it's what I'm thinking. Vinny, there it is, Whale Island. I mean, it looked vaguely whale-esque. Reverse double inverse island. This isn't confusing. Vinny, don't you live on an island? I mean, if you consider people, like, stacking trash to be livable land, then sure. What minifig comes with the, uh, that landmass? Uh, Darth Henry. It's not Whale Island. This isn't Whale Island. This is Whale Island. Anju wants you to have this. Take it. I have nothing else to give you. How do you... Do you just fish? And that's it? Like, do you fish? In the middle of nowhere? So the only place I kind of imagine this being used is here. King's Tomb. Well, let, let's see what Hoverbats has come up with. Protect Enigma Jump Fairy. Protect Enigma Jump... Oh, I don't have Enigma. I think they changed the name of spell to Enigma. Okay. Ligma. <laughs> Weirdly, I haven't been here. Did you see when Jerma ranted about Imagine Dragons while you were playing Midnight Ghost Hunt? We, um... I don't think we talked about it, but I, I definitely saw a clip of it later on. I was recommended the show Arcane a lot. And... I was like, oh cool, this, this show seems awesome with its animation and, and everything. And then I found out that... Imagine Dragons did the soundtrack and are actually in the show. And now I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pass on that. I wasn't planning on watching it anytime any anyway, but you know. They make a cameo. Is that Oh the Misery song actually the theme song of the show, or was I being trolled? Just the theme song. Well, I have removed Netflix from my life, so I don't even know how I would watch it, but... Hmm. 
button. I remember... Was there something down here that I, I couldn't do? Even with the jump spell? Maybe I need the fairy spell for this. Yeah, there's an extra life over here. I don't know how to get that yet, still. And this definitely requires... No, jump is not enough. Favorite change so far, not counting the cuckoo form. Um... Cuckoo. Cuckoo. I'm gonna say my favorite change is the new tile sets. I also think it's smart to split the collectibles up, like future Zelda games would, just because it gives you more reason to explore. That was something I enjoyed as a kid, is playing this game and finding, like, random spots with pee bags. The only thing that kind of sucks a little bit is that this area no longer looks like <laughs> Zelda 1 Hyrule. Excuse me. I smashed the boulders. I did. Uh, I, I don't know what they do. might need the Enigma spell first. Spell spell. Probably an order to them. Yeah, maybe. I just want to, now that I have um, the boot, I can explore a little bit. Wow, this was just here. Another thing I missed by dying before I finished Death Mountain. I got this already, right? Under that bridge? Imagine dragons are the personification of those obnoxiously loud impact sounds you hear in every post-2000s movie trailer. Yeah, I actually really like that. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. You know what else makes sense? Is just taking your music and compressing it to the point where it sounds like smushed penis. That's cool. Imagine Dragon's mix engineer. Sorry, I didn't realize how loud that was gonna be. I have- see, I have a limiter and a compressor. So that's probably- uh, sorry, I didn't realize how- <laughs> That was a lot louder than I expected. <laughs> Fucking hell. But it still wouldn't get as loud as... If I didn't have a limiter... Chat, there's a whole thing over there that's very, very intriguing. And I don't know how to get there, and I really would like to. Someone said, what the fuck is Imagine Dragons? Okay. Do you know what an alligator is? Or a dinosaur? Okay, now, picture... They had wings and could shoot fire. Cover bats was here. Mike put it best when he said that Imagine Dragons is hype songs over fucking nothing. Though we put it a lot louder and angrier. Well, that definitely is how Mike <laughs> puts it sometimes. He, he, uh, yeah. He, he tends to be like that in real life, too. But I actually do 
think that is a very apt description. Listen, I, I don't like them. I've only heard a couple songs. I'm not into it. I was forced to watch them during one of the Game Award things or something. I, I don't know, whatever it was. Um, and it's just, it's not for me. It's really just not for me at all. Oh, this is cool. I feel like I've said, oh, this is cool, at least like four dozen times while playing this. God damn it. Yeah, the problem with Zelda 2 jumping is that you need momentum, like I said, and sometimes it's a little hard to predict if you're going to be able to make the jump. Like, it's not Mario where it makes a lot more, like, sense. I do weirdly like the physics in this game, but it's, it's, not, always, um, it's not always easy to figure out how much speed you need. Okay, good. Uh, saved. Shit, no! Imagine me all these years thinking those Fast and Furious movies were about cars. Not realizing they were in fact about family. literally grabbing a torpedo and reversing its course. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, with arms like that, I guess I kind of believe that that's possible. Like, I, if, you know, if he was face-to-face -face with a torpedo, I think if anyone could handle it, it would probably be the rock. I got the Vine Sauce Neon sign, the new one, the small one. It's better than the old one, even though it is smaller. It's more like a lamp. It's actually kind of good. Like, it's made by a company who's done this for other people. And it is better than I expected. It's not brighter than the sun, but it looks nice. And um, I think they're still available. I don't know. But, once again, I'm not making a ton of money off of these, so don't... Don't, you know... Don't think that this is me saying, Hey man, you should buy one of those expensive neon signs, because truthfully... I kinda just got it made because I wanted one. <laughs> I wanted an LED one, which would have been a lot cheaper. Here it is, by the way. Um... It looks good. I'm really happy with it. But... Instead of LED... They ended up going with uh, neon again, but it's smaller. It's much more like ergonomic. It has a switch on the back. It stands up nicely. It does not break in transit because it's in a it's in like an actual wooden box. 
So it's that box plus a wooden one on top of it. Vinny, they picked the absolute worst background to display this on. Oh, uh, that, that was the background I chose. <clears throat> but yeah, whereas the, um, the previous neon sign was just too big and too clunky, and, like, really, like, I don't even know what to do with it, this one's at least pretty cool. And much more manageable, and you can, like, actually have it someplace. So, speaking of manufacturing problems and errors, as many of you know, my Redvox stuff has had a lot of that with um, incorrect lyrics, which were my fault. But, unfortunately, the Vision CD, maybe this is something only I care about, but the text along the spine that says Redvox Visions is upside down. Every other album is right side up. I'm just throwing that out there in case someone wants to grab a CD. It still looks cool. It's a pretty decent CD. Like, it comes with a couple things. You know, like, well, not a couple things. It comes with a booklet. <laughs> there, there is a booklet. Just say it is a rare print. Yeah. But it is unfortunate because that would have made it, like, perfect. But, oh well. They'll get the vinyl right. I'm gonna make sure... For the vinyl, I'm gonna be like, listen, I need to see every piece of art before it is sent out to people. Like, every side of this thing. And I need to triple check the lyrics. PC edition, says chat member. Does that mean it's actually not a shit game? Well, chat member, I will, uh, I will say it's better, but I don't think Zelda 2 was ever shit. I do think people overstate how bad the game actually is. I will ask you, chat member, have you played it? It could be bait, I don't mind, but I'm, I'm just curious because I know there are people who have said it is a shit game who have not played it. Yes, and I hated it. That's a different chat member. No, I, that's wrong chat member. It's not as bad as Castlevania 2, in my opinion. <laughs> it's still not great, but bad or shit? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say shit. I would say it's kind of like a like a fart, like a stale fart. But yet, hints of vanilla. Me meat. What do you mean, meat? I don't know where that chat member went, or if, if they posted again. That's okay. Wait, why is there... There, there was meat on there. That's... huh? They said a bit, yeah. Oh, okay. Well... I don't know, I, I think the game has its problems, but I think there's a lot of good... Compared to the first, it's bad, and yes, I played some of it. Okay, well, thank you for answering, chat member. I do appreciate your, your comment. I, I don't know, I feel like... I feel like it's gonna be one of those things that Zelda became a very specific style of gameplay. And when you have... expectations of what a Zelda game is, this really is the odd one out. And then Miyamoto's like, yeah, the game is shit. It's gonna prime people's expectations. So, yeah, I'm not expecting people to love it. I will say that a good chunk of why I like this game is nostalgia. But there is a lot of positive in this game. Just a lot of positive that could have been made better if they had... If they did another Zelda 2 type game, they would have probably got it right.
However, this is a lot better. Infernax is a good example of how it's not a terrible foundation. Infernax felt more like Castlevania 2 to me than Zelda 2, but yes, I agree with that to a degree. If Infernax had a world map, then I would say yes. It's it's really close otherwise. Like, gameplay-wise, it's pretty close. And there's a level-up system. One of the developers said this game was absolute garbage. Well, I guess I'm the pizza eater then, who has eaten the shitty pizza in Dayton, Ohio, because I, I didn't know any better when I was a younger kid, when I was a child. A kid. A right lad. I just thought that this was a cool game. That said, though, I am so happy that they went back to the Zelda 1 formula with Link to the Past, because Link to the Past is genuinely in my top three. I think I keep it in my top three of all time. Why do I keep dropping meat? Oh, is that a, uh, oh, I think I understand what the meat is. So, the meat seems to drop automatically, and I think it's to keep enemies away. Oh, what the hell is this now? But yeah, when this is released, it might be worth giving it a shot and seeing if you like it. And also, there's the Zelda 2 Redux, which is a ROM hack that adds a lot of quality of life stuff and improves the game. Sadly, the game on its own is not, like the original version, is not what I'd recommend anyone play. Just don't, you know. It's, I mean, maybe. I could. I'd still enjoy it, but I don't think it's like the best way for a newcomer. So I'm gonna say the Redux version or this version might at least, say, you might say, oh, this is a pretty cool NES game. Like, um, my friend Liam Many of you know Liam Gallagher from Oasis? No, Liam Triforce... ...played the Redux version. Whoa, was that a glitch? What the fuck was that? I've never seen that before. He played the, um, the, the fucking the Redux version, and it helped him kind of like the game and understand... ...why I liked it. Godlike. Wonder Boy in, in what land? So there's another game that's similar to Zelda 2, some chat member saying that they got the formula right. That's cool. Wonder Boy in what land? Balan Wonderlook. Whoa. I f wish there was a Kid Icarus Enhanced PC Edition. I feel like that game gets a bad rep, too. Kid Icarus... ...has a lot of potential. Had a lot of potential. If there was a Kid Icarus on the Super Nintendo, they would have got it right, I think. But that's another game that I revisit, and I'm like, Oh man, I love Kid Icarus, and I go back to it. And at least half of the time I play it, I'm like, UGH! Whereas every time I revisit Zelda 2, I'm usually enjoying it. <laughs> 3D Classics 1 has better controls and isn't as slippery. 
Yeah, I like that version better. That's the best version of Kid Icarus. But unfortunately, it's only on the 3DS, and it does not emulate well. I've tried. Remember when you spent 20 minutes making a slime out of those blocks? Yeah, the, the dev fixed that. That wasn't in the original version, but um, essentially now there's only one way to make the slime. So you can't fuck it up accidentally anymore. Like the columns of blocks only drop where they're needed. Crackly fire sounds forever. Live forever! I said maybe! I don't really want to shine! Chat member's still saying owl when I get loud, even though I have a limiter that, like, limits the, the, <laughs> the sounds to a flat volume. It's just perceived loudness. I, I'm smart, I can say that. Those are words. Vinny, your mids are high. It's still kind of loud, though. Yeah, I guess so. People would donate money to charity to get my limiter removed. Vin, how does Vader wipe his ass? His suit does it for him. I don't know how, but if you read up on the documentation at the uh, Emperor Palpatine Surgical Reconstruction Center, you may, in fact, find the answer you're looking for. Vinny, I've been spending my points on the splash option. Are you getting squirted? Please note that you are wasting brain cells with no actual reward. Nortz is no longer here and can no longer get squirt. It really is amazing how people are able to, like... Oh, wow, I found the boss already. It, it kind of is astounding how people are able to, like, save up this many brain cells, uh, channel points. I think there's channel point betting that's going to be happening at some point. I don't know if that's already a thing. It already is. Okay. What I, not betting, I mean like, um, you can, I think like, a, like gambling, like channel point gambling.
that's already a thing. Been a thing for a year plus. Oh my god, am I behind. Wait, has Twitch implemented a donation system yet? You've already done it like ten times with Smash. Oh, I thought it was like a casino. I was joking, chat. I- I didn't... I was trying to be like... Too cool for school, and it came across as stupid. When is Twitch gonna allow me to ride the train? I wanna run a train. Twitch, this functionality... <laughs> Has it been implemented yet? A hype train, a sub train, a dom train, whatever trains are available. You know, Twitch is just gonna put all the train stuff. Thomas. Zebor. Zebor the tank engine. Ringo. Dark Ringo. Wait, a kid named Finger? The Finger meme... I, I don't understand it. I, I don't think I'm supposed to. There was some dumb Better Call Saul meme about, like, the teacher when they want you to finger paint and then the kid named Finger is Mike. It, ma it makes zero sense, and now everyone calls Mike Finger. I'm sorry to explain the meme, but... I can see, yes, I can see many question marks in the chat. It is as dumb as it sounds. There's a joke about replacing memes with Breaking Bad that someone pr replaced a joke where the buildup was, Okay kids, we're gonna finger paint today. And instead of it saying a kid named Paint, it was a kid named Finger. With a picture of Mike under it. I figured it was something like that. But the fact that the meme was done so bad, and incorrectly on purpose, it has skyrocketed it into legendary status. Why well, say legendary status, as if it's anything more important than anything else on this planet. But, man, Metal Gear Solid, um, ri sorry, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, that shit has really made a comeback. Like, those memes are going absolutely fucking mental at the moment. I mean, they always kind of have been, but I feel like they've come back. So not only is the game self-referential in, like, memality, but it has so many dopey fucking meme scenes that are just hilarious to look at and joke about. I mean, even Johnny posted a clip recently of me looking at that weird dude with the weird snake mouth eating pizza. Hikari-chan? So kawaii. That, and apparently Frog Car has made a huge comeback. Or if not a comeback, just people are making lots of Frog Cars. There's a ton of Frog Car content. From Mother 3, yes. Like in VR chat, there's apparently a ton of Frog Cars. I saw a couple of them. Narold has one. And then there's like a Frog Car bus. I don't think I had anything to do with that, but I really enjoy Frog Car, and when I streamed Mother 3, that was a huge highlight, to the point where we even got an emote out of it, so... 
Frog Car deserves this attention. Oh yeah, Gerard, too. That's right. Didn't Gerard sell a Frog Car plush? you ever stream Smash again? Those were fun. I mean, I always enjoy going back to Smash. It's just a matter of, like, the right mood for it. This is one of the reasons Zelda 2 is both cool and sucks. It's cool because when I figured this out as a kid, it blew my fucking mind. I couldn't believe that I found the secret. I was like, whoa! Because, like, you know, when you try everywhere else in a video game, and you don't have internet, and you just have to, like, you know, do the guesswork and figure out what the fuck you have to do. And then suddenly, it's like, wait a minute, I noticed the camera is panning to the right a little bit more than usual. I guess I'll just try jumping into the wall. Holy shit, I can jump into the wall, and that's exactly what I had to do. So, not only was it cool, but it also fucking sucks. Because, why? It's a fucking dead-end wall that you have to jump through. There's really no way to determine, other than the camera, like, zooms, uh, or pans over to the right just a little bit. So, that was both cool and a nightmare, and I feel like stuff like that is why this game has a bad reputation. Guy in the first town mentions it. Yeah, but who's reading the, the town people? Wait, 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 wait. What does the town person say precisely? Because you might be right. It's not a secret, it's necessary. I know, but it felt like a secret. Jump into the wall, Vinny, is what the town person said. Oh, okay, gotcha. How often do you play Smash Brothers? Is what I'm assuming that chat member meant to type. I'm going to say lately not a whole lot, but I was playing it solidly whenever the DLC came out. Sometimes I get addicted to the game, and, like, I want to play better and enjoy. But then I play some matches online, I get my ass fucking handed to me by pros, and I get kind of discouraged, and then I don't want to play for a while. I do wish I had a group of friends that had a similar level of skill to, uh, at Smash than I, that I do. But, I mean, it does encourage you to get better. Like, I meant, you know, in-person friends, because in-person friends, it's fun to, like, have a Smash party and, and play with people. The problem is this. I'm either the best person, like, I'm the best at the game, or I'm the worst at it. I've said it before, I'm, there's really not a little... There, a little? There's really not a middle ground. But yeah, online is, is an absolute fucking nightmare. But it's okay, because it's still fun. Like, when I do matches against randos, using the GSP stuff, it's, it's good. 
it's usually a little bit better than having um, an online, like, group. Which I hate to say because I do enjoy playing Smash with people from the community, it's just, it's just too discouraging. Still remember that match with Bowser in the portals. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever forget about that. Someone said I feel that way about Sea of Thieves. Well, having just watched all the Pirates movies, well, the, the three Pirates movies, not all of them, there is a part of me that wants to revisit Sea of Thieves. And since they have um, the Pirate stuff, that, that could be fun. Oh, come on! This is a dead end? Windows G. Sea of Thieves is fun sometimes with friends. I mean, the problem I have with Sea of Thieves is also... I know I'm in a contradictory mood tonight, but... I think... the design philosophy of Sea of Thieves... not having, like, level-ups... and equipment with higher stats... is actually a really good decision so that everybody is on equal playing ground. But, sadly, this kind of shit really is like the, the dragon that you chase. And it makes playing these games, I guess, more re rewarding. Like, I don't feel the same way about getting skins. But, let's say we raid a skeleton island. You know, I get like a musket like a rare musket that has a... or a rare blunderbuss that does a little bit of fire damage or something. Well, this is weird. Oops. And, uh, this is new. And, and very, very fucking strange. And, um... As that's happening, say there's, there's like, an enemy boat that's trying to, like, grab the item. I think I would feel a little bit more attached to the item than just having some gold for cosmetics. Fucking Christ. The whole point of it is to not have it be soul-crushing if you lose your ship, though. No, I know, and I, I actually, like I said, I do think it is the game's greatest strength to appeal to the, you know, person who's going to... ...just pick it up and play for one session and not worry about, like, insane progression and dailies and, like... There's a lot to be said about just enjoying the game for enjoyment... enjoyment's sake. So is it, um, intrinsic fun versus extrinsic? I, I forget how to... ...phrase that. It was an odd choice to make for a game where treasure hunting is so critical, though. And that's really what it comes down to, is I get the decision, I think it's actually, like, a really cool decision, and a, like, kind of a brave one in today's current market. But also... I feel the pull of the loot. I want the loot. Like... <laughs> I don't know, there's a part of me that feels like it would have been cool to have weapons with, like, different stats. But maybe that's just what modern gaming has, like, gotten me used to. Is always having some kind of progression. Not just in terms of cosmetics, but also like, stats. And then ultimately the stats end up meaning nothing anyway because the enemies in the game get harder because there needs to be a difficulty curve. So, just just think about that. Every time you're enjoying playing your nice grindy RPG game and you get better and better stats, just remember that that is the illusion. The, the actual carrot on the stick. So that, <laughs> so that you can feel like you're making progress. But the game still has to get more difficult. I'm dooming, I'm sorry, but that's why I like games that you unlock different moves 
like a Bayonetta type thing. Because you're unlocking stuff, you're making progression, but you're also learning different skills and moves that make the game more interesting, and it's not just like a stat plus four. Oh fuck, I got plus six stat to my gun. Plus ten stat to my sword. Elden Ring has that problem, but also solves the problem a little bit. Because you're getting new weapons left and right, you're getting new skills, you're getting new ways to play the game. It's not as extensive as Bayonetta, which I feel like is the perfect action-adventure type game like that. Like, um... What, what type of game is that? What kind of action would you call Bene Be uh, Bayonetta? What is it? Stylish action? Character action. Yes, character action. Very interesting room. Fuck off. Oh my god. So this is all new stuff. It's not too difficult of a room. It's a little annoying. But... Oh, when the flame hits the skull, they come alive. I just noticed that. That's a really neat touch. I mean, this room still sucks, but... It's doable. It only sucks because there's just so much going on, but it's, it's a really cool concept. I wish temple interiors looked less simple and had a wider color palette. Yeah, that's, that's the NES for you. I guess if, um, Hoverbats really wanted to, like, turn this game into something even more, that could be, you know, a thing, but I, it would need a complete overhaul. That's why I say, it, honestly, as much as I like this game, it's also a better luck next time kind of situation, where in order to really get this to feel, like, good, you'd have to do a lot, a lot of work. Also, Zelda 1 was the same dungeon pa uh, the same dungeon rooms over and over and over again with a different color per dungeon. But that's what the NES was able to do, pretty much. Well, there's a lot of games inspired by Zelda 2, like Infernax. Shovel Knight has some inf uh, influence from Zelda 2. There's that Wonder Boy thing that person was saying. There's plenty of other indie games. Fini Phonotopia? Whatever the fuck the name of that is, which I'm not planning on playing. But people do recommend it all the time. All those games have worse combat, though. M maybe so. Like I said, I think this game's main strength, aside from its, like, exploration and, um... Shit. To me, this game's main strength is the physics of the combat and Link. It feels very weighty and, uh, very natural. One of the weaknesses is that there's a very limited amount of music. What's here is good, but it's also just, like, you spend so much time with it.
My problem with Zelda-inspired games is they almost always have sad, dramatic music on loop, forcing a sad atmosphere. <laughs> That's very specific, chat member. I guess so. way to get the fuck out of here? I guess not. I, I was hoping there would be like a, uh... Exit dungeon button? What did you pick up? I picked up a flute. Which is another one of Zelda 2's faults, is a lot of the items you pick up are used to do one or two things on the world map, and that's it. There's n almost no items that actually give you anything for length. That's all the magic, which is a strength. I like the magic system in this game, even if it is a little clunky. It was a really cool idea. <laughs> cool post you got there, chat member. I mean, I could... I could talk about this game for hours, and I do, because I play it... a lot. I almost play this as much as Zelda 2 speedrunners. That is a joke. Absolutely not. No, I think Twilight Princess... It, it's too different to compare to Zelda 2, because Twilight Princess actually had weapons and items, excuse me, items that you use in-game. Whereas this is just world map, like Metroidvania keys. Twilight Princess, at least you could use the ball and chain, you know, to attack enemies. It's a shame that fucking Spinner was only used, like, five times. A couple times in the dungeon, and then you get a couple items with it, and then it's done. I mean, double hook shot. It looked cool. You became Spider-Man for a little bit. The Dominion Rod was definitely a little disappointing. But the actual use within the dungeon was cool. I mean... Not every item in a Zelda game is going to be used constantly. I'm okay with that. But Twilight Princess, I think, did suffer from, like, use once in dungeon, and then you're done. Jin. That was honestly just the best way to get my magic back. I did like Skyward Sword's weapons and items, even if the, the swords were just, like, starting sword, and then the same sword for the rest of the game. But, I, I thought Skyward Sword had some cool uses, like the, the rolling bombs was great. I thought all the items generally got, you know, that you could upgrade them, they were useful. I didn't like the bomb bowling that much, but it was something different, it was unique, and it came in handy in several places. Skyward Sword had good dungeons. Yeah. 
There's a lot of good things in Skyward Sword. The cycle is Breath of the Wild overrated, Skyward Sword best. That's where we're at in the cycle. And then when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out, everyone's gonna say that Breath of the Wild 2 is the best game ever. And then a couple years later, they're gonna say it was garbage and that Breath of the Wild 1 was actually a, a lot better because it had simplicity. It had intrinsic enjoyment and not all this extrinsic garbage. And that's pretty much it. You you just do that and then you're you're done. That's that's what you do with the thing. I mean, I'm being a little dramatic here, but it, it's kind of weird how the cycle of Zelda does previous game... Like, most recent game starts to lose favor, and then the one before that becomes, like, the golden standard. The gem. Meanwhile, here I am, and have been for years, saying that Zelda 2 is best. And no one shares this opinion! So, like, I'm way ahead of the curve. Or behind. Heal, Reflect, Enigma, Fire. Okay, so there's a couple places where you need to use the book. Okay. Also, a good color palette. Really fixes some of that stank that this game had on, on some of these locations. So, I'm not gonna play this too much longer because we still have another dungeon, and then the Great Palace, so that's gonna be another stream entirely. But... I'm gonna do some... just... you know, random stuff. Go through some caves, get some stuff, um, find the hidden village of Kasuto. Wonder where some of these franchises can go in the future now that they've scaled up to massive open worlds. Would fans be upset if the next main Zelda game is smaller in scope than Breath of the Wild 1 and 2? Um... Yeah... That's... The problem with, I think... Yes. I think there's a problem... In general, with... Throwing everything at the wall. Nintendo doesn't even know how to make a new Mario Kart. They put a camera on an RC car because they didn't know how to make a new Mario Kart. So... Now we're getting DLC for the one that came out eight years ago. But truthfully, they've hit, like, a natural kind of end point for a little while, at least until there's, like, some major breakthrough. Because the game looks great, it plays great. I mean, for me, I would like to see more items. I'd like to see them lean into more, like, Double Dash-esque gimmicks. Not gimmicks, but just something gameplay... ...changing. Um, I don't know what the fuck the next Smash Brothers could be, unless it's a complete overhaul of the, the style of gameplay. Because they, again, have hit, I think, the natural peak of the series with Ultimate. I know not everybody feels the same way, and some people think Melee was- was best. But, I mean, just in terms of content alone, you have every character, you have most maps, you have a really cool level editor, an easy way to share it, you have almost a hundred characters. It's like... I don't know what they're gonna do next time. So yeah, some of these big franchises are gonna have a hard time scaling down. Why is Meat there? Again, I did not press any button and Meat just, like, popped out. It's weird. Fuck. 
fleshed out story mode. Yeah, I mean, they could just zoom in a little bit and try Smash Brothers with a different approach. It's just, our fans going to appreciate it. And I mean, Switch has already sold one point... Sorry, 107 million units. Which is why Nintendo does not want to end the cycle. And they have recently said that they don't even know how to transition to another system. Which, collectively, the entire fucking internet is like, just make the Super Switch. You don't need to do anything too crazy. Here's what you do. Give it really, really good internet capabilities. Give it 5G, whatever. Um, give it better battery life. Or, like, changeable batteries, so that, like, you can increase your battery more easily. Fix the Joy-Cons, right? Customizable Joy-Cons, so that you could get a Joy-Con that looks a certain way, or has a couple different buttons for different games. I think that would be a, a good way to continue the Switch line for the Super Switch. Maybe like a Joy-Con um, with some weird thing on it. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you're going to want some better graphics. You're going to want them better graphics. You're going to want some more RAM. Backwards compatibility. Maybe you're going to want... I don't know. I would say a, a good thing to have is, um... An eShop. An actual fucking eShop. Well, that's not gonna happen. A good D-pad? Yeah, that would be good. Like, a replaceable D-pad for a Joy-Con. I was gonna say, um, customizable backgrounds. I don't know if I said that. I might have... Like, actual themes? Hidden town of Kasuto. Wow, it actually looks like a forest town, as it should. They need to have offline ads in every single Switch game. Easy. Who was experimenting with ads in-game? Which company? So I can... ignore them. Sony? Microsoft? Yeah! You deserve my help. Follow me. Hi, Vine Sauce. Sorry I can't stay long. I have to go to sleep now. Just stop stopped in to say hi. We should play some Switch again one of these days. It's been a while. By the way, it's me, Ron Howard. I have a new username. Ron... like, the director? The famous director, Ron Howard? <laughs> wow. Oh no, it's just me, Todd Howard's brother. But yeah, the the Switch 2 can be a very simple upgrade. Just have it have hardware that can actually, you know, compete with more modern games so it can get some better ports. Uh, give it good exclusives. As usual, Nintendo will make games for it. Obviously, but backward compatibility is key. And, uh, yeah. You don't need to do all, like, crazy gimmicks. Like, we already have motion controls, we have accelerometers. Well, here's one. How about this, chat members? How about you just give the thing a microphone? And maybe, like, a camera, so you can take pictures of your fucking balls. Like, on the Wii U. And then turn them into Miis. Remember that? You could do that. You could take a picture of yourself and turn it into a me. It's true. 
Great deal for this map, only 200p. Wow, okay. It's still weird to see that the P is being used as money. I have nothing left to offer you. What does the map even do? I don't, I don't even know what the map does. Graphics here are, are very good. Like, very, very good. Boulder Circle, ask the wise men. If only I had my slide whistle. But yeah, that actually looks great. I mean, very good pixel artists. So, ask the wise men? Do you have a wish to return to getting weird with it? I mean, if there's weird games, I'll, I'll do one. I did a grab bag gamble that was almost a getting weird with it. It was extremely close in some areas. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still open to uh, game compilations, of course, if, if people have. Interesting game uh, stuff for Sunday or for some kind of getting weird with it. Let me know. How about more egg games? Well, you're in luck. I've got a great egg game. Okay, here's what you do. You try to fit as many eggs in your mouth as you can. Starting... ...with three. Yeah, I think the, the meat is just a decoy. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. the map. I think the, the map tells you the location of these things. Oh, okay. So, like, here's the desert palace, or whatever the fuck this one is. By the, by the way, not the desert. The first one's the desert one. This is the secret one. But the integration of the sand onto the, the palace, just, it's just subtle, but it's really great. So, yeah, that'll show you that that's there. I always liked this part of the game. This was cool. So it's like... Things were getting kind of dangerous out here, but... There's like a lot of secrets and... Interesting locations. Graveyards and shit. Yeah, so... I can't really see the enemies, so we're, we're just gonna run. The town is dead. Look east in woods. See, now this is where sad music would have come in very handy. Would have helped tremendously. V, 
caved in. I'm choking on these eggs over here. What's the next step? Oh, just don't die. eggs is hatching. Do I swap it out with a new one? No. For you see, whichever creature is being born into your mouth, that is their new home. Vinny, I have succeeded in not dying. What next? I think that's what we're all trying to figure out on this planet, isn't it? Some people turn to Jesus. I can give you most powerful magic. Thunder. Thunder! Screen shake is new, but I mean it actually adds to the <laughs> it adds to it, I would say. figure out why OBS is not capturing audio. The meter turns green when I speak. I'm using XSplit right now, which I'm waiting for the fucking weird pop-up messages at any moment. But before, I, I actually was recording with OBS earlier and it was fine, but it's getting the signal from my microphone. It's showing that it's getting a signal. Excuse me. But then... Nothing happens. Nothing is recorded and nothing is streamed. Maybe it's streaming out to a different audio track. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I gotta take a look at that, but it's gonna be tomorrow. I have to figure that out. Is the channel unselected? You know what? It didn't look like it, but I'll check. Oh fuck fuck. Advanced audio settings. It could be set to monitor and not not output. Yeah, it's possible. It's funny because I didn't change anything from when I last used it. So, but yeah, that that makes the most amount of sense. I can't imagine a program this developed would just crap out. You know what though? Again, I, people have said OBS is amazing, and it's great. There's a lot to like about OBS. It's not flawless, though. But it is free. I mean, it's a lot harder to complain about a free program that's that good and open source versus something that you pay for that still doesn't work after many updates. Thank you, XSplit. Yes, go to the meat. Isn't there a, uh, a pea bag area around here? Pretty sure there's some, like, forests encounter. So this is what? Uh, heal, reflect, enigma, fire. Ah. 
Oh god. We gotta see what's behind that chamber. Are you talking about the King's Tomb area? Alright, let's do it. I I'll stop there, because I'm getting kind of tired, and uh, I'd like to go to sleep. And it just happened. It actually just happened, and now the XSplit messages are occurring. And it's taking focus away from the game, so that I lose controls. It's literally right in my face, and I can't see what's happening. Oh, that's an awesome... That's an awesome program you got there, XSplit. And still no fixing. Failure validating auth token. The remote server returned an error. 401 unauthorized. Like... Do I just uninstall XSplit and reinstall it? Like, what, what the fuck do I do? Probably server-side. Yeah, it's weird, though, because it's happening now... ...pretty much between three and four hours every time I use the program, which... Admittedly has been less and less. I've just been using OBS instead, but You know tonight was a different story. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, XSplit was like, oh, you're still using this program? You're still using me? Okay, well... We'll make sure that you use OBS now. It's like, bro, why are you still using XSplit? I'm XSplit, and I don't know why you're using this program. It's a stream timer to tell you when to stop the stream. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the mouse is on the screen. You know, that, that is very immersion breaking, but it has to be done. And I do want to see what's down here. If this is like some long dungeon, I'll just come back to it next time. Protect Enigma Jump Fairy. It's just cool to see secrets back in this game. Oh, a shield. Really? Oh yeah, it's a different shield. Well, that's not in Zelda 2 normally. I'm going to assume this blocks fire and other projectiles, because that is definitely a, a thing in Zelda 2 that, you know, the shield just doesn't block fire. So not only do you get, like, more mysteries and, like, more secrets, but there, there's, like, more items. It's really fucking cool. There's, like, three more items and at least one more dungeon item. So it looks like the bottom row is, like, new stuff and the top row is the old stuff. 
It's really cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Hoverbats, if you watch this later or whatever. No thank you to XSplit for being fucking trash as usual, and no thank you to OBS for also weirdly being trash today. But, um, no, I appreciate it, and, and listen, everybody, thank you for the birthday wishes. You were very kind to me, and I hope this was fun to watch at least a little bit. And uh, I'll see you soon with... I have some special content that you'll enjoy over the weekend. And when I see you live next, there will be more LEGO Star Wars. And uh, what else? Well, we'll, we'll finish Zelda 2, Enhanced PC Edition. And other things as well. There's other games I'd like to start up, but we'll get to that in due time. Uh, Diddy of Carmiana, I'll, I'll resume at some other point in the future. I don't know when that'll be, but like a couple weeks. I don't know. But all right, everybody, thank you once again. Have a good night. Have a good day, whatever it will be. Um, also, f uh, the Full Sauce channel is about to hit half a million subs, which is fucking amazing. So thank you for continuing to watch that channel. And uh, it's it's been very... It's been very cool. Good night. See you next time. Goodbye. And watch other good streamers. I have a lot of friends and mods and, and people. Uh, Jolly's playing Elden Ring right now. Desert P is playing Xenoblade. Shrimps are doing shrimp things. Ducks are being ducks. And Moist Critical probably doesn't need any of my help because he's got 19k viewers, but Charlie's a good dude, so you can check him out too. Okay, good night.